this really was a political operation from the get-go. I would say I was not satisfied uh, with the answers provided today. We think there's a lot more to this. This is a infringement on the First Amendment that this investigation is going on. He was a private citizen when he wrote this letter. That was Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson and New York Congressman Daniel Goldman on former CIA Director John Brennan and his closed-door testimony yesterday. Brennan sitting for a four-hour interview where he was asked about signing the letter with 50 other intelligence officials who called the Biden laptop Russian disinformation right before the 2020 election. Former DNI James Clapper expected to sit before the Weaponization Subcommittee next week. Joe, your reaction? Uh, for, first of all, Dan Goldman is, is, is so sanctimonious. I mean, this is ridiculous. These people who signed this letter weren't signing because, uh, you know, they, they were an usher at church. They weren't signing because they were a, a, a Met fan or a Yankee fan. No, they were signing because they were formerly uh, officials within the, the intelligence community who were using their former position to justify what they knew to be false on paper. Uh, the fact that we're now seeing emails that prove this was a campaign campaign operation really should gall the American people uh, who were just told point blank over and over during the 2020 election that this is uh, complete nonsense, this is Russian dis disinformation, uh, and we should put it to bed. The other group of people I think we should be really concerned with right now are the media, because the other networks, they use this document as a way to shut up guests who had any alternative opinions, any alternative voices on any of the other networks. Now to see them not even covering this, uh, I, yeah. I actually have the same, uh, you know, venting as Byron Donald who said, I'm giving you Pulitzer Prize winning material. Why aren't you covering this? It's, it's really shameful, Joe. You're absolutely right. And this is the same. It's a do-over of the Russia collusion uh, lie. John Brennan was pushing that story, and the media went with it, and uh, the whole story went viral. They still have not uh, come up with truthfulness uh, on that story. They will not admit how wrong they were. A new Rasmussen survey finds 69 percent of voters think that Reports on the Biden family's influence peddling is a serious scandal, compared to 26 percent who say it's no big deal. 63 percent of voters say that Biden likely did profit from foreign decisions in an alleged pay-for-play scheme during his time as vice president, Cheryl. Look, this is all coming out now, and people are understanding what this guy's been doing for the last 40 years. Yeah, and, and now the work, and I think this is going to be the, kind of the next tranche of this from uh, from Comer and from Jim Jordan, is going to be unwinding the LLCs and doing further investigations into the LLCs. You know, this is how business works. You can come up with five LLCs, you know, spend a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand dollars and form one, and you've got a company that's very difficult to trace back. So, you know, it's not going to be easy. You know, I mean, now the American people are saying, hey, look, we're, you've got our attention. Something is was happening here, uh, you know, when, when Joe Biden was Vice President Biden, was, you know, was he making money off of his name? Was his family making money off of his name and his powerful position at the time as Vice President? Now it's going to be up to the forensic accountants uh, to, to go into those LLCs and to kind of, again, follow the money. But remember, a lot of this came from, from the Bank of America records that James Comer actually, uh, you know, pulled. And once those bank records, once you have it in front of you, you can't deny what you're yeah. seeing. But again, they're going to have well, to prove this, and people want, people want those numbers, to be clear here. Well, well, what we have seen in terms of proof is money from foreign agents going to these LLCs and then distributed to Biden family members. Francis, we know now that James Comer has been able to get bank records from four banks, and that's where, where he came up with $10 million that the Biden family has taken in. He told me that he's got eight more banks to, to go through. So what we know of in terms of this $10 million that the Biden family has taken in from foreigners, uh, that's only from four banks. He's got eight more banks to go through. No, that's incredible. The number's probably only going to grow. And how brilliant of him to go to the banks with a subpoena before he went to the Biden family with a subpoena, because the Biden family would have just fought the subpoena where the banks are turning these things over. The other thing is, how could these guys think that the truth wasn't going to come out? And furthermore, if we look at the his history of presidential scandals, some of them had to do with extramarital affairs or women or, or, or different things like that. But when we compare those scandals to the national security risk we now have with this scandal, I just don't think that they're quite comparable. Yeah, and it's just incredible that the media will not cover it. There are serious national security issues around this. 
And that's why it's just a, a scandal, Joe, that you brought up, the media, not, not reporting it. They're not reporting on the border either, by the way. No, right, right. So, so we see no coverage on, on things that they really wanted to cover, namely that letter, by the way. They really wanted to cover that letter in 2020. Uh, <laughs> they wanted to cover the border when Trump was building a wall. Now we see nothing. Right. Uh, I actually want to find those 31 percent of people out there who are saying this Biden scandal is not really a scandal. I, I want to ask them, what is the Biden family business if it's not trading influence and peddling uh, th their, their father or their grandfather's right. name? I mean, are they, are they, do they have an ice cream truck? Uh, are, are they uh, drilling for oil? No, of course not. Uh, that's why yeah. it's so significant to get a little bit of pushback from some of the other networks that you reference uh, to see if there can be uh, any digging. And that's exactly what James Comer said. There is no business here that we could find. We can't identify any product, any reason for all these Biden families to be getting money from these LLCs, which got the money from foreigners.